Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about keratoacanthoma that is a, a special variant of squamous cell carcinoma. Keratoacanthoma was formerly considered as a pseudo cancer, but uh, now it is considered as a self resolving variant of squamous cell carcinoma. It is a rapidly growing epithelial tumor that has potential for uh, local tissue destruction and rarely to metastasize. There is a, a spontaneous regression uh, in most of the cases it is, as it is considered a self-resolving lesion of the or variant of the squamous cell carcinoma. The, the site of this lesion is usually sun exposed skin and uh, etiologically the human papilloma virus 9, 16, 19, 25 and 37 have been linked with this etiology. Ultraviolet uh, rays, chemical carcinogens such as pitch and tar are also attributed to this. The age of onset is more than 40 years of age while it is twice as common in male than in females. Keratocanthoma morphology, the cross lesion appears as a dome shaped firm nodule that is developed on the sun exposed skin. The nodule is skin colored or slightly red or uh, brown in color. There is central keratinization and over three to six weeks it forms a crater like a nodule due to central uh, shedding of the keratinization. This, is, this reaches about 2 to 3 cm in size. There is continuation of the hyperkeratosis and almost whole lesion is replaced by uh, the keratin and uh, this will be shed afterward leaving a, a scar due to spontaneous regression. However, there is a report, there are reported cases of local and visceral metastasis, but uh, this spontaneous regression is more common and uh, from the development of crater up to the regression, it takes about 6 to 12 months and uh, finally, as the lesion uh, regresses, there is development of uh, atrophic uh, scar. The lesion can be multiple. So, this is another gross picture of keratocanthoma. This is a firm nodule that is reddish uh, uh, in color and there is a characteristic central crater that is uh, present. The keratocanthoma originate from the endophytic proliferation of keratinocyte. This is a cup shaped lesion with the central keratin filled amplication and overhanging epidermal edges. The base uh, is composed of keratinocytes that are large and have abundant homogeneous eosinophilic or glassy cytoplasm. The lower side uh, of the lesion has got irregular tongues of squamous epithelium that infiltrate the collagen of the reticular dermis and active fibroplasia in the dermis uh, is present around these uh, tongues that, is, uh, that denotes older lesions. There is a focal lichenoid inflammation and, in the, uh, and the dermis may markedly infiltrated with neutrophil, lymphocyte and eosinophil and uh, there is presence of neutrophilic microapsis and entrapped dermal elastic fibers. Due to its unpredictability and uh, cases that have got metastasis and local infiltration, uh, its early excision is recommended 